In this video, we will see a function that allows to compare the DTM we are creating to the original mesh and verify whether it is precise enough. For the sake of simplicity, I will switch on only the 3D objects related to this lawn here. So, lawn perimeter and lawn elements. Now, if I go on 2.5D model section and click on Compute 2.5D, the algorithm will work only on the visible elements, thus making only this part of the model. And here it is. If we want to verify how much this model is precise compared to the original mesh, I will just need to enable this function here and compute the model again. This way, the program will compare the DTM and the original mesh and describe the difference between them through a color point cloud, which will be projected on the mesh. And here it is. Here you see this window that allows to perform some more operations on the point cloud. Here instead is a, is a scale that on the basis of the maximum distance uh, parameter, uh, which is 0 0.3 units in this case, uh, explains the difference between the mesh and the model. Basically, these 0 0.3 units are regularly divided into these chromatic bands, each corresponding, uh, in this case, to a range that is uh, 0 0.015 units wide. Okay. Now I switch off the texture and the model so we can see the point cloud better. Uh, you can observe that if I get a little bit closer, okay, uh, yeah, you can observe that almost all the points have a color ranging between uh, blue and green. Well, green corresponds to uh, 10, 13 centimeters, so it's quite a significant error, which means that I should improve the accuracy of the model. And to do that, uh, I just have to add some points where needed. So first of all, I go again inside the main panel and check if the, if the layer on which I draw uh, before the points is current. And you see, low lone elements is current. Okay, um, then I switch on again the model and I make it more transparent so I can see also the points. And then I can start adding the, the new vertices. So I click on draw points. And I can put some here. here. Uh, clearly, the more vertices uh, I draw, the best will be the result. Okay, I think it's fine. So I click again on draw points to stop this function and go again inside the 2.5D model section and click again on compute. Okay, I switch off the model and you see that the situation has improved quite much, but there are still some critical areas such as this one, this or this where I will add some more points. So again, I click on draw points. We'll add two points here, two more here. Okay, and again, I click on 2.5D. So essentially, I just repeat this operation until I'm satisfied with the result.